Hello there. And here we are on day 80 in our New Testament passage. And you won't be surprised to know that I'm going to skip over the genealogy. It's Luke's version of the genealogy of Jesus, his family tree, and go straight into the temptation of Jesus. I just want to make a few points. Jesus has just, we read yesterday, been filled with the Holy Spirit, had a wonderful experience. <coughs> and the first thing the Holy Spirit does is he leads him into the desert. And he doesn't just lead him into the desert, he goes with him into the desert. And there Jesus is tempted by the devil. for 40, he, he doesn't eat anything, he fasts for 40 days, and then the devil comes and tempts him. He tempts him three times. He says to him, if you could just do this, you could just do this, if you could just do this. And how does Jesus reply? Each time with the word of God. He says, it is written. Um, this is what it says in the word. I'm not going to listen to you, devil, because I know what the Bible says. I know what God's word says. And you know, there's one thing we need if we're to face off the challenge of Satan, the challenge of the devil when he tempts us, when he accuses us, when he tells us lies. We need to know the truth. That's why we're reading this together. Hide this word in your heart, just like the Lord Jesus did. And then in the desert times, in the difficult times, when you're feeling physically or emotionally or spiritually hungry and the devil comes at you and he says to you, you can satisfy your hunger in the way I want you to, you can say, no, it is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God or any of the other defences, filled with the Spirit and knowing the word. That's how we survive and thrive. See you soon.